一百八十二 Albert Kirk Journal Remote Healthcare Project Gets 美元十四 M 二零一五年七月二十一日 Review to Black Source Albert Kirk Journal N M July 二十一 A University of New Mexico program created to deliver complex medical care to people in rural New Mexico has received a million subsidy million grant from the Gear Foundation to replicate the model across the United States. The foundation announced Monday, U N M's project Echo uses video conferencing tools that allow teams of specialists at a hub medical center to train and mentor clinicians in underserved areas. The intent of the three-year grant program is to extend the Project Echo model to federally qualified health centers or FQHCs, which provide medical services to an estimated ease of ten million patients nationwide. This is a huge project, said Erica Harding, Project Echo's director of replication. It's the biggest thing we've ever done. The Gear Foundation turned to Project Echo to transform the way healthcare is delivered at FQHCs across the nation, she said. Federally qualified health centers are really the main healthcare delivery system for the underserved in the United States, Harding said. They really are America's frontline healthcare service. That the Project Echo model is a web-based system formed in Yi Tianning Sam by U N M physician Dr. Sanji Fedora to help him treat hepatitis C patients statewide with the help of primary care clinicians. That the program since been expanded to include cases of blocked diseases, including HIV, AIDS, diabetes, substance abuse, mental illness, chronic pain, heart disease, and high-risk pregnancy. The Department of Veterans Affairs has its own version of Project Echo, and the Department of Defense has a global Echo chronic pain management program. A key goal of the Gear Foundation grant is to create yet more additional U.S. hubs, primarily academic medical centers that provide teams of experts that train clinicians to treat complex illnesses. Harding said. Project Echo today has new subsea hub medical centers worldwide, including these of yet U.S. hubs in sub-bar states. Another goal of the grant program will be to use the Project Echo model to improve administration and leadership at remote clinics. Harding said, "The Institute for Healthcare Improvement, a group that provides administrative training for FQHCs, will use the model to expand its work," she said. Copyright C. E. Tin Ling Yasapun the Albuquerque Journal Albuquerque N M Visit the Albuquerque Journal Albuquerque N M at W W W Albuquerque Journal come distributed by Tribune Content Agency L L C